control box consists of on, off, and the remote control. When the pump is in the on position, it's, it's pumping either forward or reverse. To hook up the remote control, we're gonna unscrew that. At that point, the entire pump is being ran off of the remote control, either on or off. This is the emergency stop switch. If it is pushed in, the engine will not turn over. If it's pulled out, the engine will start. This pressure gauge shows the hydraulic pressure that's running through the, through the lines. The hydraulic pressures run off the hydraulic pump. Today we were running about 150 feet. It was running at about a half speed. It was running between 1,000 to 1,200 PSI. The flow control valve actually will completely control the speed of the pump and the speed of the drive. The self-propelled works by rolling this bar forward or reverse. It has two hydraulic motors that drive the front wheels. And as we showed before, when you turn the machine on, roll it forward, goes that way, roll it this way, goes this way. These are the hydraulic levels. This is a good level here. When it's cold, yeah. if you just barely see it on here, this is fine because all of the hydraulic fluid is in the frame. There's five proxy switches. Right now, it's turned on. The key's turned on. And then when, it go, when I turn, turn the pump to the on position, the proxy switches are gonna come on, okay? Red means it's ready to go, it's good to go. All right, with the hose clamps, there's snap rings. Pull the safety pin out. It snaps open. Make sure these things are, are clean. We'll marry the two right here. We're gonna wrap this around. This goes like so. And then you're on. And then put your safety pin back in.